why not? I was going to do this tomorrow, uh, but you know, it means my team's kind of getting their ass kicked. Might as well do it now. And pay no mind to the uh, TV there, La La Land. Have you? Has anybody watched that? Because I didn't know it was a musical, and I, you know. I was reading about it on the internet a little bit. Oh, five Oscars and uh, whatever her name is. Is it Emma? Emma Stone and Brian Gosling. Just amazing performances. And it's a musical. So, yeah. Uh, just not enjoyable. But that's that's my little uh, background noise that you hear. My DVD and VHS collection. Now the nice thing about this, this won't take as long as the cassette case because I don't have a ton of shit, but you know, I can go through each one of these, break them down a little bit, and for the most part, they're pretty good. Because um, I have good taste in music. It's that simple. All right. Start right off the bat. Pokerama. Uh, it's got 22 videos on it, Epitaph Records, a bunch of different punk bands, which there's some on here that are questionable as far as enjoying, but it's pretty good for the most part. Rancid's on here three times, Pennywise, the band, not the clown. Yeah, that's the movie that I want to go see. I want to see that clown bite that little kid's arm off and eat it. Kind of reminds me of when I turn into a werewolf. Go on a feeding frenzy. Listen, I don't like that I do that. Do you think it's fucking fun being a, a werewolf? Because you're hungry all the time. And no, mad, no matter how many people I eat and regurgitate, I got to keep feeding. Some, yeah, person actually bought into that story. And I really thought it was a joke, but they actually believed me. You know why? Because they thought they were a werewolf. Oh, I love the internet. Oh, so, Punk Rama? Yeah. And I, I give it uh, three and a half out of five. How about that? I'll, I'll rate each one. Uh, there's one band on here. Let me find it. Uh, Division of Laura Lee. Eh. Don't know why they're on here, but hey, every nothing is perfect. You gotta have a dud somewhere. Face to face. VHS? It's still in good shape. Look. Look at that. Pretty nice, huh? Uh, the first seven years. Um, of course, I affectionately call this the. Uh, uh, Doug Gardner band because Trevor Keith, the lead singer, looks like this guy went to high school with. There's a little shout out for you. Doug Gardner, fellow Seed Towner. How about that? Uh, it's got, it's good. It's face to face. And if you're a fan of face to face, you'll like it. If you're not, well, you should be. Listen to this. Put down that fucking Hawthorne Heights CD or DVD and check out face to face. Peep show, and not that kind of peep show. Now, there's one thing about this I do not like. It's the record label. No, no, I take that back. I like the record label, Fat Wreck. Once again, I just don't... Oh, sorry. My goodness. Talk about it. All right. Fat Mike owns Fat Wreck, obviously. But, this really is pretty good. It's got good riddance on it. Snuff, swinging udders. Strung out, bring out your dead. You cannot go wrong with Strung Out. And Goober Patrol is a nice track on here called Easy Life. I actually like Goober Patrol. I don't own any of their music, but I've heard two or three songs from them. They're pretty good. Decline of the Western Civilization, both one and two. Okay. See? See that little beauty? Ding ding. Boom. 
God, it, it really is hard to... Okay, there you go. Yes. I know that it seems like it would be easy, but it's not. It's, it's fucking hard. But you gotta remember, it's me. Uh, some things are difficult with me. Uh, both. Both movies kick ass. Okay? You got the punk gears, so you get the Darby Crash, and you get Keith Morris with Circle Jerks. Of course, you get the, you get fear at the end. No, not like fear, the movie, or fear like you're going to be scared. The band, and they call out the entire fucking audience. They just shred everybody. Uh, you know, he says, will you like me? I want you to like me. Here. And he throws him like a dollar bill, and he's like, actually, I don't care. I can't fucking stand any of you anyway. Nothing. Like a band connecting with their audience like that, you know, showing the true appreciation from their fans that spend money on them. It's, it's kind of funny. And then, of course, the second one is uh, the Metal Years. Pretty good. You know, it's got Ozzy Osbourne, Lemmy's in it, Dave Mustaine, as always, the same Dave Mustaine. Listen, he's a good musician and guitarist, but. He's so fucking, like, angry all the time or depressed, you know. I don't want to say it. He's just serious, right, all the time. And he's no different in this. Uh, what do you say about somebody that wants to try to be in a band and be a rock star? Don't. Okay, thanks, Dave. Fuck. Oh, and also, that's the one that's got Chris Holmes in it, the guy from Wasp, and he drinks the vodka. Well, some of it, and then he wastes half of it in the pool. He, that's pretty, pretty rough, though. I think he'd give my buddy a run for money on the vodka. Speaking of you, buddy, how are you doing right now? How many drinks are you in into right now? Time is at 7.30? Whew. Yeah. You're going to be feeling this in the morning. All right. Beer nuts. Cinema beer nuts. Uh... It's got some good videos on it. Got the queers, uh, shades of part doing tainted love. I said tainted love, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, the word taint just kind of threw me off. Uh, but Millen Collins on here. I like Millen Collins. Uh, MXPX is on here, and in case you missed it, I. Uh, talked about MXPX not too long ago and the fact that I own some of their music is honestly kind of embarrassing because they really do have some of the most atrocious lyrics I've ever read in my entire fucking life <laughs> but we all make mistakes here's a good one real big fish our live album is better than your live album it, this case uh, it's got a DVD Two live CDs, throw big fish. Like I said yesterday, they they sound great live. No different on that DVD. I like this little bad boy right here. Faith no more, you fat bastards. Uh, Mike Patton, singer. I mean, if you're a Mike Patton fan, you'll love this. Um, obviously, Jim Martin, the guitarist, was still in the band, and. Uh, I love their uh, version of War Pigs at the end of this, but hey, I seen Faith No More live. They did not disappoint. They fucking brought it. Faith No More, worth your money. Here we go. This is actually a movie. Sid and Nancy. Uh, Gary Oldman is the reason to watch this movie. He's such a good actor. Like that dude, I have seen him in everything. He can play a weirdo, an asshole. You know, he can play a stalker, play a fucked up musician, any role. He can do it. Uh, but the problem I have with Sid Vicious is that he wasn't a musician because he fucking sucked. And he stabbed his girlfriend to death. And it's kind of like the Charles Manson thing. These people that, you know, buy the t-shirts and... Uh, I just don't, I don't understand that. They're fucking idiots. You know, don't buy their shit. And I, I, he's just, it's, 
just go read the story on it. He was so bad, Sid Vicious, that when they played live, they would turn down his bass all the way. Of course, he didn't know. He didn't know what the fuck he was playing anyway. Here's a band near and dear to my heart, The Vandals, sweating to the oldies. And they don't disappoint. Newton Boy, very interesting, the guitarist Warren Fitzgerald. They show him how he likes to beat off a lot. Not kidding, like in public. Which I'm not saying that's good. I shouldn't say public, like, you know, a couple people dared him. It's kind of like jackass, right? He's in a room, there's like three or four people in there, and he, you know, starts uh, getting after it. But they, they actually play music too. It's not just him on there masturbating. That really. That sounded awesome. All right. Cinema beer goggles. Why did I just say that like that? Cinema beer giggles. Goggles. Goggles. There you go. Uh, this this is a beauty. We got uh, gutter mouth face to face with the song debt. Uh, tilt will. Oh, that's awesome. Tilt will. Another sappy song about hate. You've got to watch this video. It's on YouTube. And he's this real big dude, the singer, guitarist. And he chugs these 40s of old English. Oh, let me tell you something. If you haven't drank old English, like an old English 40, you haven't lived. And let me tell you something. That shit will knock you on your ass. I remember I drank two of those when I was in Atlanta. You know. You know, finding my true self in Atlanta, trying to become the person that I always wanted to be. I'm just kidding. It's being fucking stupid. But no, I did. I drank two of those, and holy shit! I was like, man, this is some strong shit. This is definitely the opposite of bush life. Uh, but yeah, no fun at all. The vandals again are on here with "I Have a Day." With the prettiest girl in town. Wait, or the cutest girl in town. I have a day. And I'm the happiest guy around. Oh, the goops with Booze Cabana. I don't want to go back to a beat and I don't want to go back to a Booze Cabana. Actually, I didn't do that too bad. It's a woman that sings that song. I, I really like that song. It's catchy. And it's, of course, listen, Jughead. It's Revenge 4961 is one of the best videos ever made. Basically, they go through all the, like, first the kid, you know, he's into Iron Maiden. You now he's got all the Iron Maiden posters. And then he's a he's punk because, you know, punk's popular. Then he's into grunge, you know. And then he's into glam, like, just totally making fun of these, you know, a lot of these kids. I'm into punk. Oh, really? Are you? Yeah. For at least two months, I've been totally punk. Oh, yeah, really? Who? Well, who do you listen to? Simple plan. Motherfucker. That's right. Fucking totally punk rock. Get out of my way. What are you? One of them fucking metalheads? I know I really kind of go to the extreme with that. It, it, it's just for my own amusement. Okay? Alright. Now, you see what's written on there. Pulley and the Queers. What does that mean? Well, it means these are both live concerts. And, uh, they're really good. Um, professionally done, of course. But listen, any time that I can get a DVD or a VHS performance of the bands I listen to, that's a win-win. Right, because it's just shit that's not easy to see, and a lot of them don't come to fucking Iowa anymore. I don't blame them. Okay, They're just don't forget about us. You're in the land of the corn, my friends. All right, get this one out of the way. This is when I was a fan. Okay, we here. Where is he? He's this one right here. That's Fat Mike. And I'm, you know, I know I'm beating a dead horse. He just he just pissed me off. Otherwise, I really say go buy this. But now I say, get out of here. Don't 
try to get back in this pile either. Fucking smack you. That's right. Okay. Holy. I love this one. Beyond Warped. Man, Scott Rubinsky. And you know how much I love this band. You can't go wrong. Right here. And it sounds good too. There's a couple, you know, fuck ups in a couple of songs, but that's that's okay. That's expected. It's a live performance. It shouldn't be perfect. God. Hi Scott. What's up, bro? We talk a lot. He always like calls me for advice and shit. I'm like, what do you want now, Scott? I got a lot of shit going on, brother. <laughs> okay. Aquabats. Serious awesomeness. And got a little bit of information for you. Okay? A lot of people don't know this, but I do. You ready? Travis Barker. Seriously? You've got to be getting scumlicious. Yes. No, I'm not. The guy that drums for Blink-182 used to drum for the Aquabats. Uh, they're kind of silly little band you know just kind of fun uh that you know they wear their little costumes and you know like here's some of their songs uh cat with two heads giant robot bird head lovers of loving love you know just kind of silly shit but entertaining okay there's only four left but i'm saving there's two of them i'm saving for last yeah, you're gonna find out why. Dun dun dun. Here's my suspense music. All right, we got four of them on this one. Slow, scumbaglicious, so they can read it. There you go. Thirty foot fall. Wow, this is blurry, huh? Uh, agnostic front, sex pistols, and pulley. Yes, all live performances, and they're all good. By the way, thirty foot fall, uh, Crystal Forge. Their guitarist passed away not too long ago. I think he was only 42. Really sucked. Uh, the reason I love 30 Foot Fall, not only are they from Texas, but they're a lot like Guttermouth because they don't give a fuck. They shred everybody, including no effects. It's very entertaining when they do that. And, uh, yeah, bummer about Chris. Rest in peace. And this right here, this is really weird. Okay, you see that? I ordered this in the mail. Yeah. What? One of the last. I'm like a dinosaur. You actually order shit out of the catalog? Yeah, I know. Isn't that weird? Okay. Let's see here. See, yeah, you can tell. Uh, probably on a budget. But we got Gutter Mouth, the Vandals. Okay. There's a band on here. AFI. Ugh. Fuck. Listen. It's kind of like the two bands yesterday, a couple of the bands that I talked about that I didn't really care for. You know, if you're an a AFI fan, I apologize, but Davey Havoc, the singer, I just, oh. Go watch his uh, interview with Guru Hamid, the same guy that interviewed Sebastian Bach on Loudwire. Oh. I could, like, 10 seconds in, I'm like, well, somebody, please, I don't know, like, bash his head into the fucking wall. Oh, he's like this. Uh, and Grahamit, of course. So, uh, Davey, tell us about your clean living. Um, well, you know, when I became part of the straight edge movement, uh, you know, you have to commit yourself, and that's not easy. And I was just so attached to becoming that, you know. And, you know, eating vegetables on top of it, you know, is just amazing. Uh, you know, I'm the exact opposite of Bad Field Trip. You know, that garage band from Iowa? You know, they had that one CD back in the early 2000s. I think there's three of them, you know? They're all a bunch of fucking degenerate, drunk, alcoholic, booze hound, women loving skanks. Boy, that was kind of long, wasn't it? But just go 
go listen to him. I'm telling you, he will really fucking annoy you. And I, I want to make this clear. I'm not ripping on people that don't drink or do drugs or vegetarians. I just can't stand these fuckers that like, you know, did you just eat a fucking pork chop? Uh, yeah. You want to fucking die, motherfucker? Huh? Did you just eat a fucking cheeseburger? And I get it. But, you know, he just... It, just shut up, okay? And quit fucking recording albums. Yeah. And I, you know what? Their first album, I did like... I can't remember the name of it. But then they turned into that fucking goth shit. And, you know, he's got long hair and fucking dark, you know painted fingernails and shit. Boy, this La La Land music is just... It's kind of kind of neat. I just realized that. So while you're listening to me, it almost feels like you're grocery shopping. Ding! Uh, we need a uh, customer pickup. Aisle 3. Ding, ding! See? Kind of? Shop ID with it. Okay. That's the grocery store shit. The best for last. And first, there's two of them here. That's right. Steel pan. Look at the cover of that. Huh? Where? There she is. Ooh, spanky booty. Okay. Uh, we got two discs in here. And let me tell you something. Steel Panther is worth every fucking penny. Okay? I just talked about... Uh, Davy Havoc. Oh my goodness, this is the exact opposite. Okay? Just total debauchery that we love. Well, that I love. The first disc is all from Brixton Academy, Great Britain. I mean, we got, they do all the good ones. Community Property, Eatin' Ain't Cheatin', uh, Fat Girl, Turn Out the Lights, uh, We Want Pussy, <laughs> and, uh, Death to All the Metal, one of the greatest fucking songs ever written. And then, this too, Download Festival 2012, they sing five songs, they're fucking great, Community Property again, uh, 17 Girls in a Row, and of course, Tiger Woods. It's just a great fucking song, it's got a great riff. And I mean, fucking Satchel just shreds on it. And then we get to the last DVD, and it's the CD also, Gore. Oh, <laughs> America must be destroyed. This thing is just absolutely amazing. Because why? Well, I'll tell you. Let me show you. We get the album, America Must Be Destroyed, which I have on cassette also. If I can get the, uh, there we go. Okay. You know, which it has some of the greatest songs on there, Gore Gore. Have You Seen Me, uh, Rock and Roll Never Felt So Good, The Road Behind, Top Notch Shit right there. And then the DVD, right? Two things on it. First, you get Phallus in Wonderland, which is uh, it's like a little mini movie that they made. It got nominated for a Grammy. Right with Annie Lennox. In fact, I think they lost to Annie Lennox. I mean, Otters talks about it. It's like, how in the fuck do you nominate Gore and then give the thing to Annie Lennox? Sweet dreams are made of this. Who am I to disagree? Oh, and another one. I know you remember this from Native. Here comes the rain again. Falling on my head like a memory. Falling on my head like a do emotion. Remember her? That fucking short red hair. And at first I thought she was a man. I'm not, listen, I'm not ribbing on her, okay? Because then I found out she's a woman. But you just can't fucking pick Ann Lennox over fucking gore. Really? You gotta do better than that. So there you go. Uh, that's my music collection so far. DVD, VHS. I think about ordering a couple more, and whenever I get a new one, I will review it, because I know that's the kind of shit you want me to do for it. Hey, 
I'm a nice guy like that. All right. It's getting hot in here. Got to turn some fans on. All right. Take it easy. And if it's easy, take it twice. I'm out.